The Tijuana Estuary Visitor Center sits on the northern edge of a sweeping flat valley. The land is wedged between suburban housing tracks, the international border, the ocean, and a military base. Helicopters rumble overhead as inexperienced pilots train here. That military mission is one reason this area is protected from development. Refuge manager Brian Collins says this is one of the few coastal wetlands to survive in California. As wetlands have been developed throughout California, we've lost, uh, in, in the world actually, we've lost a lot of the potential for those wetlands to function ecologically, not only for the species that live in those wetlands, but for us as well. Collins sees a dynamic living ecological system that has positive real world impacts on the surrounding environment. If you like clean water at your beaches, you really want estuaries to be able to help clean that, clean that water as it comes down the watersheds. So in many ways, this system, this valley is a microscopic of the world's environmental problems and challenges and solutions. This salt marsh habitat is considered a coastal wetland even though parts of it dry out during the year. There are long, sandy strips of land. Cactus are as common here as mudflats. The variety is a sign that things are constantly in flux. Colin says what was once a mudflat might now be something else. He points out a damp spit of land. The system has changed, it's seceded into vegetated salt marsh. Today, it's great rail habitat. Ridgeway rails are endangered birds. They have long legs and long beaks that allow them to thrive in the tall grass that grows on the edge of mud flats. They're among more than 300 species of birds that find their way to the estuary. And while change is a part of the ecosystem, dramatic change can be devastating. Well, we've thought a lot about how climate change, and particularly sea level rise, is going to affect our coastal wetlands. Jeff Crooks is a research coordinator at the estuary. He says the salt marsh is a lot like a large lung, breathing in and then exhaling ocean water. Crooks says the system has to be constantly measured to be understood. Basically, what we do is we say we're taking the pulse of the estuary, we're taking the vital signs. You just go out and measure day after day. Those daily checks have created reams of data. Researchers track everything from water temperature to acidification and even how salty the water is in the marsh. Right, so salinity, the amount of salt in the water, is basically the primary determinant of the plants and animals that live in the system and the types of things that you'll see here. Saltier water might completely change what can grow here. Crooks is scouring those research logs to see what the immediate past says about the future. Emily Young works with the San Diego Foundation, and she says climate change is why her organization is funding the study. We know that our coastal wetlands play a vital role in buffering the impact of storms and filtering pollutants and providing outdoor recreation, nurseries for fisheries. So it's really important to understand how these areas are changing. It is especially valuable to understand how quickly the change is happening or how dramatic the change ends up being. Researchers say it carries implications for the rest of the region. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.